What's going on guys, Spencer here with Asia Massage. Today I'm going to be showing you a few good massage techniques for the knee. The kneecap, the patella, and the surrounding areas of the quads and the calves. The knees are a really common area to have pain or at least discomfort for most people. So something I've started doing is paying a lot of attention and spending more time to all the attachments of the kneecap. This ends up helping with a lot of pain around the area and it's also just going to feel great for your clients. So let's get into the tips of the massage. We're going to first warm up the entirety of the leg. Do some effleurage all up and down the quads and the calves around the kneecap but we're never going to be pressing directly on the patella. We're never pressing it back into the body. It may also look like I'm not pressing that hard, but this isn't an area where you need a ton of pressure, at least not initially. So I've warmed up the leg and I've gone down to the ankle and I'm just gonna do some circles on either side of the shins here. This is hitting the gastrox and the soleus or the calf muscles, as well as the peroneal muscles on the outside of the leg. I'm then stacking my fingers and running them up tibialis anterior. The only reason I switched to my thumb there is for the video. I would normally stack two of my fingers like that, or I would stack all of my fingers together. Because remember, we're always maintaining good body posture for ourselves as well. And do a little bit of work at the top part of the calf, just below the kneecap you'll find that we're going to work the quads and calves first before we start to really target the knee itself. On to the good stuff. Doing this work around here is going to feel extremely good for your clients. Start with a little more precision. Just feel all around the muscle attachments that attach to the kneecap. Look for tender areas and hang out there. Use your fingertips and you'll start to feel a lot of crepitus. You can work half of the patella at once, like I'm doing there with the edges of my fingers, or you can get more specific and do holds along the knee attachments. Ultimately, I'm just doing a lot of petrissage, lifting, squeezing. There, I switch to some cross fiber along the femoral patellar attachment and the tibial attachment. These two tendons, the one above and below the patella, you can begin to get pretty deep tissue on this cross fiber and do trigger point as well, as that'll reference pain up and down the leg and help mobilize the entire joint. You'll feel a lot of graininess or crepitus in the kneecap here, and so you want to help to break all that up and add more mobility, add more blood flow, and overall improve that health. And my hands are kind of blocking the shot, but we're just sticking with more petrosaw circles, working the lateral aspects of the kneecap. I like to stabilize the knee if I am going to do some deeper petrosaw and then squeezing the whole thing and then tractioning apart feels really good as well. So that's a nice move to throw in there. And then working back up into the quads. Here I'm using my palms and doing a crossover, deeper friction. If I wanted to go deeper, I could dive into my knuckles. And you may find yourself doing a lot of repetitive movements here and a lot of repetitive pressure holds but that's kind of the key and why it does feel so good is because there are so many ligaments and tendons that attach here that they really do need that extra work and switching angles this is normally the angle that i go at in order to get the really deep work here now i'm really using my fingertips and getting to some of those deeper layers i'm squatting down because of the camera of course i'd normally suggest lunging 
but don't be afraid to kind of dig in and find the clickiness, find those areas and tendons that catch on each other and make those popping and clicking noises. It's usually going to be the IT band, the rectus femoris tendon, vastus medialis, and the pes anserinus tendon at the top of the calf on the inside aspect. All those really tight areas are going to be culprits in that clickiness. If you can start to get rid of some of those clicking sounds, people are going to be amazed. And of course, feel free to work this area as long as you need for your client. But as we come to an end, you're going to want to lighten up on the pressure, begin to go a lot more broad, and then I always like to traction out. Thanks for watching.